In this problem, we're told the space shuttle releases a satellite into a circular orbit 680 kilometers above the Earth. How fast must the shuttle be moving relative to the Earth's center when the release occurs? So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So what we're trying to do is find how fast. So essentially, we're trying to find a velocity. And so we know that the velocity is equal to the square root of g, which is a gravitational constant, times the mass of the object that it's going to be uh, circulating around, which in this case is the Earth. So I'm going to call it Me, which is just the mass of the Earth. And that's going to be divided by R, which is the radius or the distance uh, from your satellite to the center of the planet or whatever you're rotating around. In this case, it's the Earth. So this is the formula we're using. And so let me go ahead and draw what's going on. So just to give you a better idea. So imagine this right here is going to be our Earth. So imagine it's perfectly circular. My drawing isn't going to be though, but so imagine this is the center, and so we know the space shuttle is going to be releasing it 680 kilometers above the Earth. So if this is the surface of the Earth, right? It's 680 kilometers above it. So that's going to be where it is, 680 kilometers. And so we know it's going to be rotating in an orbit around this in a circle. My circle sucks, but just imagine it's rotating around that in a circle, right? And so what we're trying to do is solve uh, for R, right? So or we're solving for v, but we need r in order to do it. So notice uh, this right here is the radius of our Earth, right? The radius is just half the diameter, right? So radius of our Earth. And so r in this problem is the distance from our satellite to the center. So essentially this whole distance. And so my drawing isn't perfect, but if this was a complete circle, essentially it's just uh, the, the whole thing it rotates is just the radius of that. But uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. So this is r. We're trying to solve for this. And so before we uh, solve for r, let's go ahead and write down the other things that we know. So we need g and me to solve this. So g is called the gravitational constant. And so g essentially is just a number that you have to memorize. And so it's just equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. So that's g. Uh, me is just the mass of our Earth. So what is the mass of the Earth? That's another thing you have to memorize. Uh, it's equal to 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms and so the last thing that we need to do is solve for r right we need r and then we can actually go ahead and solve for uh, the velocity or how fast and so what is r so r is this whole distance right here and so what is r going to be equal to well if you look at this it's going to be the radius of the earth plus this distance right and that should give us the whole distance so it's going to be equal to r sub e plus uh and you can call this h right so this is the height i'm going to refer to it as h so plus h and so now what we need to do is actually just go ahead and solve so let's plug in h first so h is going to be the height which is 680 kilometers but the way you want to do this is write it in scientific notation and so let's convert this to scientific notation and so actually the the way you want to convert it to sci uh, scientific notation uh, you need to realize that the radius of the earth right so r sub e is equal to, you need to know that it equals 6.38 times 10 to the sixth meters. So this is the radius of the earth. And so when you find the height, you want it to be in the same uh, degree of scientific notation, right? So you want it to be to the sixth, right? Keep in mind, this is in meters though too. So we got to convert this, right? The height into uh, meters because it's in kilometers. So 6,800 kilometers, if we want it in meters, you multiply by a thousand because there's a thousand meters for every one kilometer. So multiplying by a thousand is just 680,000. So and we want it to be 10 to the sixth, right? We want to put in scientific notation. So we move it six decimals to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So essentially it's equal to 0.68 times 10 to the sixth. So that's that, right? So we have the radius of the earth, right? 6.38 times 10 to the sixth. And then we're going to be adding what we just solved for the height, right? Which was 0.68 times 10 to the sixth. And so the way this works is it's easier because these are the same exponents. You can just add these two numbers. So 6.38, add 0.68, and now it's just 7.06 times, and then you just add this part. So times 10 to the sixth because they're the same. So now we have everything needed, right? We have R, we have ME, and we have G. So we can solve. So V equals the square root of first G, which is 6.67, right? 6.67 
times 10 to the minus 11. Then multiply that by the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24. And then we divide this by our radius, which is 7.06 times 10 to the 6th, right? That's what we just solved for. And so if you go ahead and solve this, right, take the square root of this whole thing, you should get about 700 or 7,516.422. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just round this. And so I'm going to put it in scientific notation too. So this is about uh, 7,520. And so I'm going to put it in scientific notation. So move it over three decimals. So one, two, three. So really it's just 7.5, right? Because we moved over three decimals times 10. And we moved over three decimals, so it's to the three. So it's 7.5. Uh, and so actually 7.52. So I forgot that too, but 7.52 times 10 to the three. And then keep in mind... They're asking how fast, so we just solve for a velocity. So it's in meters per second, right? So meters per second, so 7.52 times 10 to the 3 meters per second. So this right here is going to be your answer to this problem, and hopefully you found this useful.